Hey, my beautiful Gemini's. How y'all doing today? Welcome to Swift Intuitions. If it's your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe if you like anything. And if it's not your first time on my channel, hey, family, how you doing today? How was your day today? Mm, I know it's good, right? Because we claimed it. That's what we do. We claim good days. We don't We don't just happen to slip upon the good day. Every day is a good, good day, goddammit. <laughs> I'm going to stutter step because I just wanted you to feel it. <laughs> All right, before I get started, Heavenly Father, thank you right now for my beautiful Gemini's. I thank you for their character, their life, and just everything about them. I ask you right now to continue to give them clarity on situations, Heavenly Father. Give them a precise dream and goal, Lord God. And I ask you right now to just let them pursue it with all of their passion. Victory is theirs in every aspect of life. Something else. Protection. Heavenly Father, protect all of my Gemini's with unconditional love. All right, Gemini's. I got to make sure, you know, but when you feel like you need to say something else, sometimes you got to just take a second and pause and let me think. Wait, Gemini needs to be protected. Let me put that extra blessing on them. Yeah, take that extra blessing, baby. You see that? That's love when somebody take the time to make sure that they cover you with the right words, the right powerful words that you might need. You feel me? Because we in this together, baby. You hurt, I hurt just like that. I feel this energy. Anyway, so we're going to get into this reading. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Message love life with my beautiful Gemini's. Ooh, we got okay, Gemini's. You know y'all the lover's card, right? Mm-hmm. I got love on my mind. I got love. Gemini, you got love on your mind. You Gemini, I love and stuff. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So I feel like right now there's something could be... Um, Elevating to new heights, should I say? Is Cupid coming out? Shooting ass. What's happening, Gemini? Don't do me. Oh, oh, you said I'm supposed to be talking to you. Oh, okay. It's like that. I thought this was a conversation, but this is all about you, huh? Okay. No, but Gemini, I feel like there's some love. Uh, love is on your mind. I feel like there's somebody that's in your... um in your aura era or aura, whatever where that you're very attracted to and i feel like it feels as if like you guys fit like you're probably going through a phase where it's like um you 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 met somebody and you have this connection and it, it has a too good to feel be true type of uh type of feeling so i feel like right now you just enjoy spirit is saying enjoy this moment you know enjoy the energy of being loved and feeling this energy of love you know because i feel like sometimes in a past gemini that you could have had this feeling before but it's like because of past situations how they end you just automatically counted that feeling off like you know like you try not to make it a big deal but i feel like this no matter what we go through in life the moments that we experience we have to enjoy them at that moment you feel me like only what exists now only what's happening in the present is what matters because a lot of people be stuck in the past about some shit that happened way back when which is like you're torturing yourself you, your mind is back there and a lot of people have anxiety where they're so stressed their mind keeps them thinking about what's coming in the future when reality is only what you do right now counts when you get to the future you know what that is that's still gonna be your present when you finally make it to the future it's still gonna be your present so don't go ahead of yourself enjoy right now so this love that you've experienced in gemini enjoy it man don't matter i don't matter if it, if it is tomorrow i enjoyed the hell out of it today you feel me that's how the energy is supposed to be then the next card that fell out was the phoenix oh speaking of phoenix so I don't know. Y'all, I do have a Phoenix Intuition channel. That's for all of the Scorpios. You could be sun, moon, or rising. Or if you just want to spy on your Scorpio, you should actually go to that channel. It's going to be in the description below. Now, so we have Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transform, growth, changed mind. So I feel like this is a, this is a old, old boo thing, Gemini. Well, you going back? Well, you know Gemini. You go back. You go back. 
Yeah, Gemini, I feel like this is an old love. This is like, maybe like in the past, uh, you guys were just like uh, like friends with entanglements. And then, and, and now, man, I feel like you guys have come back together. This person is showing you like more attention, like something has transformed in their world. I feel like if they were occupied with somebody else or they had other options, I feel that their options are no more and they choose you. I choose you, baby. I choose you, baby, me and you, hey, just the two, yeah, and I feel like they want to transform the relationship that y'all had into something else, something more, mm, they want to, yeah, it's kind of like transforming what your relationship was in the past to something more, Oh, let me find out that old thing trying to come back and make that that new thing. You feel me? Back then, I was the side piece. Now, I'm the main lady. Ooh, <laughs> you got to upgrade it. Let me, let me upgrade you. What, you now somebody upgraded your baby? You worth it, though. You worth it. You got to stop playing them sideline positions. Then you get that main role. You feel me? Yes. <laughs> this is just love life. For my beautiful Gemini. Let me see here. Heart with the king. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. Perfect. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, Gemini, y'all got love coming in. What y'all lovable as? Y'all the love card anyway. Ooh, this is beautiful. Let me get, let me give you a little deeper. I ain't, I ain't, you know, I usually go leave you just like that, but I say, let me, spirit, what? Got me to something. What should I? Oh, let me do this one. I want to do this one. Okay. Where are we at? Let me see how, how long am I taking. Sorry, Gemini's. Okay. Oh, yeah. We got time. Say, Mercy, first of all, don't be rushing our reading. Because we seen you do the other reading. They was long. First of all, I know. I ain't going to rush y'all. Okay. So, Gemini, let's break this down. Mm, okay. So, we got love, right? Spirit, clarify love for me. Ooh. Ooh, this is a soul connection. This is a two of cups. Baby, you about to get you a soulmate. They ain't going nowhere. Ooh. Ooh. So they came back in the picture. Figured out that they, you know, they probably cut some things off. Some people off that was restricting. And you got to cut. You cut some people off, too. Because you know, Gemini, you had you had them whole. You had different area codes. Area codes. Uh, uh, yeah, we know you. We know. <laughs> Go tell nobody, tell nobody, Gemini. Tell nobody, Gemini. Adam, going. Messages of love and light. Yes, this is a beautiful connection that is transforming. Messages of love and light. This is somebody from the past that's coming back in that y'all had a spiritual tie, and I feel like y'all, uh, this person has ended some things that prevented uh, them from truly focusing on you. That's the reason why maybe in the past that's why y'all just had like little flings or entanglement sessions that were very, very nice. Um, but now they want to transform this. Yeah, the Six of Cups, this is somebody in the past, just like I said, clearly, keep repeating this. Spirit, I just play, keep bringing me these messages, baby. They need to be reiterated, okay. And then with the, yeah, because this is something that you walked away from. Yeah, you walked away from this situation because of the lack of attention that they were giving you in the past. And now since they're back up, whatever was taking their attention away is no longer existing. So now they're coming back and they want they they boo thing back. They want to transform the past into something new. Ooh, Gemini, Gemini. This is just the other light. Yes, we have the uh we have the three of wands, but it looked like it came in reverse. So the three of wands is speaking of waiting for your ships to come in, but since it came in reverse, it was like this person is no longer waiting. It's like they're going after the ship. It's like they're going to swim towards this this to the goodness. So if they were at a distance, I feel like at first it was like them traveling to you was an issue, but now they said, No, I'm about to catch this boat. Well, Gemini. Okay, I'm still. I'm gonna give us a little bit more because just because I just feel like we need a little bit more because there's some good energy. You feel it? Okay. Uh, message love and uh, spirit. Can you give me some of the thoughts of Gemini's person? Some thoughts of Gemini's person. Message love and light. Ooh, I'm gonna take it. I remember you so clearly. They remember you because they try to move towards you. Messages of love and light. I feel like they're saying that they remember all the things that you used to do and the things that you said and the things that they miss about you is how you used to like cater to them or something like that. Gemini, let me find out. You was. The royal penis is clean, your highness looking ass. I ain't gonna lie, I do that shit too. I would. Now you lying, go ahead. 
Get out of here with your twin flame hat and hat. Let's just love and life with my beautiful Gemini. I know you deserve more. So they know they were short changing you, changing you, Gemini. And you said, I don't take change. He <laughs> said, I don't take change. <laughs> Better put some bills in my pockets. What you mean? <laughs> And the last card is childhood trauma. Your person was affected by by some of the ways they were they were raised, you know. And I feel like whatever they went through growing up, seeing their parents or the people around them, I feel like it kind of traumatized them from commitment or even having a healthy one. It probably uh, probably some of the traits were toxic. So what the, what he would do would is leave the situation. Or lighten it up so that it would not line up with the way that he truly felt or she truly felt about you. Mm. But now I feel like they've done a lot of healing. They let go of a lot of things that were holding them down. And now they want to move towards you because they feel like you, they boo thing. You boo thing. They want to feel on your booty. Your booty. I think this person, if it's a man, he likes your booty. <laughs> hey okay gemini i'm gone if y'all like this please like and subscribe hit that notification button um also y'all can go support the phoenix intuition channel so y'all can just stay in tune also thank you for everybody that's been donating to my cash app and Vimo. i really do appreciate it i love you guys love yourself remember we are the gods and it ain't shit they can do better